If I have to interview people, let's say I've got a couple of people coming in, I need to interview for a specific uh, role, maybe a systems admin role, and they've got experience with servers and they've got experience with maybe some networking and how to do troubleshooting on computers and things of that nature. But in my company, I'm using virtualization and I've got two candidates, one that knows a little bit about virtualization and one that doesn't know anything. I'll probably end up going for the person that has that virtualization technology. You need to learn about virtualization. I do release videos every single a week on all things tech, including stuff around virtualization. So why don't you go and click on that subscription button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my video releases. Virtual machines are something that have been around for quite a number of years now. And just to give you a little bit of a nutshell, what we're talking about here is, well, in the olden days, computers used to be all physical. When we're talking about computers, we're talking about here specifically servers, uh, mainframes, those sort of things. So big devices that are sitting inside data centers, inside comms rooms, in inside server rooms. Well, there used to be physical servers for certain things in an organization. So there would be a physical server for your mail server, a physical server for your domain controller, for hosting your websites, all of that sort of stuff. So a server would be a device, essentially a very, very powerful computer that would slot inside of a rack and then that is what would be running on it. You'd have maybe Windows Server or Linux or something like that running on that server and then that would be providing that operation, that function to that business, to that workplace. Nowadays, these have been replaced now with what are called virtual servers. And essentially what virtual servers are is think about a physical computer. So a physical computer, of course, has CPU, has RAM, has a graphics card, and then has the operating system, maybe Windows. Well, a virtual machine is actually exactly the same. It's just now a container or an image that contains a virtual CPU, virtual RAM, virtual graphics card, and then an operating system running inside of it. And then what you can do is you can actually run multiple virtual machines, virtual servers within one physical machine. So now rather than having one server for your mail racked into a comms cabinet that is hosting your Microsoft Exchange, for example, your mail server, well, you can now have multiple virtual servers maybe a virtual server that is running Exchange, maybe another virtual server that is running a web server, maybe another virtual server that is running DNS. And those three are sitting on one physical server. Majority of companies nowadays, small, medium, and large, generally will use some form of virtualization in some form or fashion. Now, if we're talking about some of the big vendors, who are the big companies that actually uh, have this technology virtualization, like this virtualization technology. Well, the biggest one out there is a company called VMware, right? VMware's got some technology, virtualization technology that can run across a number of different equipment platforms. They can run on desktops, on laptops. They can also run on servers. There's things called ESXi, there's vCenter, there's Fusion, there's all of these different workstation, all these different sorts of platforms that VMware creates, allowing virtualization technology. Other ones would be Microsoft. So Microsoft has got one called Hyper-V. So Microsoft actually has a platform allowing you to create virtual machines running on some physical computers. And then the other big one is Citrix Zen Server as well. And apart from those three, there are others out there, right? There's Oracle, there's a lot of other brands out there that do do uh, virtualization, but generally the biggest ones are gonna be two, VMware and Microsoft. So if you learn more about VMware, if you learn more about Microsoft, you're gonna be in a good position when you are delving with these technologies in a company. Now, even if companies are on the cloud, you've heard of the term the cloud. Well, there's two main things here. There's the cloud, and then there's what's called on-premise. On-premise is what is on your premise, where the company actually resides, where it runs, where it operates from. And then the cloud, of course, that's somewhere out in cyberspace. Well, even on the cloud, uh, a lot of the servers that you can be running on the cloud are actually virtual servers. They're just running on the cloud. But of course, behind the scenes, if you think about the big cloud providers, such as Amazon, You've got AWS, you've got Microsoft Azure as well. Well, these they actually have a whole pool of data centers running pools of servers. And then in turn, they use parts of those servers 
to allow you to actually go and configure your virtual servers within it. When you go into a company, you're gonna find that virtual servers is something that is gonna be used, so you need to know more about it. If you do wanna know a lot more about specifically VMware, so in the show notes below in this video, I've got a full length training course on VMware specifically, how to make your own virtual servers, how to even get started, how to download it, how to install it, how to configure it. Watch that because you'll definitely find it helpful. So you click on the link. Why don't you let me know in the comments below whether you've actually got experience in virtualization. Maybe you've built your own virtual machines. Maybe you are thinking about getting more into it. Maybe you wanna know more about it. Why don't you let me know in the comments below? Would love to know. And maybe there's other people who are watching this video who can give you some tips and some tricks around where to get started when it comes to virtualization. So before we finish, do remember to also click on that subscription button on the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future video releases. We talk about a lot of stuff in tech, but also a lot around virtualization. That's it. Thank you so much. Like this video if you did like it. And hey, stick around if you want to watch any of my other videos where we talk about all things tech on this channel. Thanks again. We'll talk to you next time.